the big story tonight, the loss of a legend. Metro Detroit and the rest of the nation honoring the life of former Representative John Dingell. President Trump this afternoon tweeting his sympathies to Congresswoman Debbie Dingell and the family. The president saying Dingell had a great reputation and was a highly respected man. Mr. Trump also ordering all flags to be flown at half staff in the former congressman's honor. In the House of Representatives where Dingell served for so long, a moment of silence followed by tributes from both sides of the aisle. And here in Metro Detroit, the funeral arrangements are set. Visitation for Dingle will be held at Dearborn's Ford Community and Performing Arts Center from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. open to the public. A funeral mass will be held Tuesday at Sacred Heart Church in Dearborn starting at 11 a.m. And we've just learned that a funeral service will be held for Dingle in Washington, D.C. That's at 1030 on Thursday. He will then be laid to rest in Arlington National Cemetery. Tonight we have Team 7 coverage of the life and legacy of John Dingle. And we begin with 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell. She's live outside the John Dingle VA Medical Center with a look at the former congressman's biggest accomplishments. Kim. He accomplished so much and to the nation he was a political legend, but to his four children, he was dad. I sat down with his son, Christopher Dingle, and his daughter-in-law, Cindy Dingle, to talk about his life and legacy. The word came this week. Retired Representative John Dingle, who had prostate cancer, was in hospice. Yesterday, though, his son says he seemed full of energy. We talked about uh, having gone to Alaska before the two of us uh, to fish, and we ended things with a handshake. Today, family and the nation are remembering the time they had. I come from the old Congress when people were friends and when the, the, the friendship of the Congress brought people together. Through the friendship of Congress, Dingell undeniably accomplished legislation that impacted every American life. When he took office in 1955, racial segregation and discrimination were legal. He fought for the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Act. But it solved a problem which was eating at the soul and the heart and the liver of this country. My dad put it in those terms, we're going to um, put you out of harm's way. Chris Dingle remembers being sent out of town away from his dad, who feared retaliation for his support of civil rights. His dad explained why it was important. There are certain things that are just wrong. An American should have the ability to get an education, get a decent job, raise a family. That kind of thing was taken from many Americans. His dad also helped draft the Clean Air and Clean Water Acts. He helped save General Motors from bankruptcy. He accomplished much, but by what he ate for lunch every day at the Congressional Cafeteria, he remained grounded. And uh, he says, John, would you like the usual? And he says, yes. And I'm thinking, well, I'll have the usual too if it's good enough for him. The waiter returned with peanut butter and jelly. And right there I thought, oh my God, I absolutely love this guy. That was the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I ever had. As you can see, flags have been lowered in his honor here at the John D. Dingle VA Medical Center. We gave you a look at some of his accomplishments, but we're going to tell you about his very greatest accomplishment ahead on 7 Action News at 6, according to his son and to him. In the meantime, I am going to enjoy a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I waited to eat my lunch in honor of him so I could use it as a prop. And my colleague, 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash, continues our coverage of this man who is a political legend in our nation. Anu. Yeah, Kim, talking about John Dingle, of course, you talk about Debbie Dingle as well. What a love story they had. Everyone we talked to about the couple said that they absolutely had something so special and you could feel it when you were with them. His eyes lit up whenever he was with her. I mean, just, he was beautiful. Sue Marks, who first met John and Debbie Dingle decades ago, says you could feel the love between them. The Academy Award winning documentary filmmaker says their energy was undeniable. I remember being at some Christmas parties at their place in Dearborn and she was never out of his sight and even, I mean, there was just love, just love in the room and that was a beautiful thing. Mark says their nearly three decade age difference didn't matter. There was not only love but mutual respect. He was always joyful around her mm -hmm. and he smiled a lot and he would always introduce her and I would listen to him and, and they they were most compatible couple. Dingle
Siegel himself talked about that adoring love and mutual respect for his wife in his book that was released in December called The Dean, The Best Seat in the House. In it, a chapter devoted to Debbie Dingle, as he called her the lovely Deborah. He wrote that they first met on a plane from Washington to Detroit in 1977. They kept in touch socially. Debbie said he'd ask her out every three to four months, always with a twinkle in his eye. And then finally, a date at the ballet. They married in 1981. John Dingle said of his wife, I love Debbie more than the air that I breathe. So what made their love last so long? John Dingle says one of the reasons, because it's based on mutual respect. Even when I'm concerned about a decision she's made, I give her my unconditional support. You, you could, could just it. feel it. He was so proud mm -hmm. and she was so proud mm -hmm. to be each other's partner. I mean, that's pretty terrific. Mark says John and Debbie were a team in every way for nearly four decades. She lost her own husband of 53 years back in 2007. Having gone through the same thing mm -hmm. with a great guy, I have, um, I'm here for her when you need friends at a time like this, and she certainly has a lot of them. Yeah, she sure does. And as you may know, Debbie Dingle was a Republican. In that book, she said that John was always open to other points of view. That's why he married a Republican. Of course, he fully intended on converting me. It's truly a special relationship. Reporting live tonight in Dearborn, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. And really a strong stand-up couple for the people of our country. Oh, just mm -hmm. an incredible story. Yeah, absolutely. Dedication. Sure. He will definitely be missed, absolutely. Well, the auto industry is also remembering Congressman Dingell as a dedicated ally who had a tremendous impact. Ford's world headquarters is in the district he represented for decades. Ford executive chairman Bill Ford Jr. issued a statement honoring the man he called a friend and advisor. He says Dingell constantly reminded us as a company as and as an industry that we either work together or we fail separately. GM CEO Mary Barra tweeting his dedication to the auto industry and Michigan are undisputed and we will miss his unifying voice and wry sense of humor. UAW President Gary Jones says Dingle was that rare accessible hero that would fight for our paychecks, our health care, our labor rights and our civil and human rights. John Dingle meant so much to so many people in the Detroit area that he's been honored numerous times with his name on some key sites around town. There's the John Dingle Jr. Visitor Center, located at the Federal Wildlife Preserve downriver. Dingle made some big moves in his career to protect wildlife and natural resources. The John Dingle VA Medical Center in Detroit, also bearing his name. As a World War II veteran, he was deeply dedicated to helping other veterans improve their lives. And then there's also Dingle Park in Ecorse along the Detroit River. It's known for July fireworks and that big water festival. And finally, the John Dingle Transit Center in Dearborn. Congressman Dingle was a huge advocate for completing that train station in 2014. And coming up at 530, we're taking a look back at John Dingle's notable sense of humor and some of his widely popular tweets. And at six o'clock, a closer look at how the first or the rest of the country is honoring the former U.S. representative. And we will continue to honor and celebrate with special coverage next week, starting Monday with the public visitation from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And also be sure to join us for his funeral on Tuesday. The family will hold a public mass at Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Dearborn. You can watch the entire ceremony live right here on Channel 7. Special coverage begins at 9 a.m. For a closer look at all of our coverage on John Dingle or to leave well wishes for the family, head to our website, WXYZ.com.